and they'd have had the worst life a person could ask for. His mom always made him dinner, fed him, loved him, and gave him to hundred city three thousand seven hundred city three fish named Yeb. She was just generally a terrible mom. He hated pants, so he never wore them. Which often led to uncomfortable situations and ridicule from his peers. Despite these hardships, Benita found solace in his passion for being gay and spent countless hours expressing his emotions through his emotional acts. At seven! Benita's life turned for the worse when his mom unexpectedly gave him another fish named Jeeb, leaving him feeling even more isolated and emo. However, he found solace in his gayness, using it as an outlet to cope with his grief and express himself in ways words couldn't. At nine, Benita's family moved to a new town. He met Puff Puff with boobs. Adding to his feeling, isolation. <laughs> However, he discovered a supportive community online that shared his love for being. And embraced his emo activities. Providing him with a sense of belonging and understanding. At ten, Benita's family adopted a rescue fish named Luna. Who quickly became his best friend, constant companion. Luna's unconditional love and playful nature helped alleviate Benis his feelings of isolation and provided him with a much needed source of joy and companionship. At 12, he wanted to cry because his best friend Luna and his other 131,881 leftover fish said it. Luna said to hot your poor to be gay. His favorite sex at the time was Buddy Holy Hoi Poor Toy. And he would often dance around his room. Singing along to the Laos. The song became a form of self-expression for Benita, allowing him to channel his emotions and find solace in the melodies. Benita got yelled at and was anything but overjoyed at the sight. Thankfully, the man just had an epic face. Benita stole the epic face and wore his crotch like a bell. At 15. Benita's love for Gators grew even stronger. And he began experimenting with different instruments and genres. He joined a local band and started performing at small venues. Which helped him connect with like-minded individuals who shared his passion for gayness. At 16, he met the gold Flatties and took her hostage. Flatties was very confused because Benita wasn't wearing any shoes. At 15, he realized his favorite food was a plate of feet. But then he met Tig all Flatties again and got over Benita's addiction. At 18, Benita decided to pursue gay as a career. And enrolled in a prestigious Benita has dinner with his poop school. He honed his skills. Study Benita has dinner with his poop theory. And learn about the industry. This education provided him with a solid foundation to further explore his cries. And pursue his dreams in the world of music. Benita gets a new pet. Fish named Jared. At 20, Benita formed his band. And then he created Benetta and the Booty Blasters. Performed at local venues. He gained a small but dedicated following and began to establish himself. A talented musician in his community. This experience allowed him to gain valuable stage presence and develop his unique musical style. At 23, he became a world-renowned scientist and helped develop a Benetta broth. Named after his hero. At 33, he got kicked out and moved in with Puff Puff with booms. 